Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down, you're comfortable, everything is just right. You're going to try and be still and quiet and peaceful just for a while. Maybe fall to sleep at the end, who knows. Giraffe was having his lunch. It was noisy. There was a cat sat next to him. It was out in the wilderness. It was in Africa. The only place in the world where giraffes live in the wild. And giraffe, like I said, was having his lunch. The cat looked up at the giraffe and said, Do you have to eat so loud? Giraffe said, What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? I'm chewing. I have a really big tongue and it gets in the way when I chew. And I'm trying to eat my lunch. So be quiet. Giraffe carried on chewing. The cat said, Did you not know though that it's rude to make noises while you eat? And to especially eat with your mouth open? That's like gross. Did no one teach you to eat with your mouth closed? Giraffe, not very happy with this cat, looked down at him from way up where he was and said, Look, cat, I'm trying to eat my lunch. There's like 97,000 other giraffes out there. Just look around. We're all over the place. Go and sit by one of them and let me have my lunch in peace. The cat said, Well, I can't now because now I'm here. I feel like it's probably my civil duty to teach you how to eat with your mouth closed. Go on, give it a try. I bet you can do it. Giraffe said, Have you seen the size of my tongue? My tongue's enormous. Have you seen it? It's really, really long. You try and eat with a big, long tongue like this. It's really difficult. The cat, still trying to be patient, said, Just give it a try. I bet you can do it. Giraffe <sighs> sighed and said, If I try, I'm going to eat with my mouth full. I mean, my mouth closed. Will you leave, please? The cat said, Well, as long as you just give it a good try and you don't just try a little bit and not really try. If I think that you're giving it a 100% kind of try, then I'll leave. Right, said Giraffe. Here goes. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. 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 The cat, horrified, looked up and said, No, no, no! When you eat with your mouth closed, you don't make those disgusting noises. You eat with your mouth closed and you eat quietly. You don't make smacking noises or clacky noises or any kind of noise. You just eat with your mouth closed quietly. Try again, said the cat. Giraffe was not happy, but he tried again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. How was that? That was so much better, said the cat. I told you, see? And now you're a giraffe with manners. Because people and animals that eat with their mouth closed and don't make horrible noises have manners. So now you have manners. Aren't you grateful? Aren't you glad you met me? Giraffe said, Not really, because now there's like 97,000 other giraffes out here in the wild 
that still eat with their mouth wide open and make lots of noises. How are you going to teach all of them what you just taught me? And what was the point? Now, when I go and be with my friends, everyone's going to think I'm weird because I don't eat like them. Then what am I going to do? Do I have to teach every single one of my friends to eat with their mouth closed and not make noises? Good idea, said the cat. That's exactly what I'd do. Yeah, well, you would think, since I'm this tall and I'm way up here, that you can't even hear me. How on earth did you hear me? The cat looked up and said, Cats have very good hearing, you know. We hear everything. I guess, said Giraffe. You just proved that. I was happily eating my leaves, munching away, letting my tongue do whatever it wanted to do. And look what happened. You changed my whole world and gave me manners. And now I have to teach everyone else manners. Oh, what a horrible day. The end. Now, I know that that was a silly story, but the cat does have a good point. It's important when you're eating to try and eat with your mouth closed. That way, everyone around you doesn't see what you're having for your dinner, because that's not very polite. It's always best to try and chew with your mouth closed and not make lots of noises. So when you get up tomorrow and you have your breakfast, you have to try and do just what Giraffe did. Eat with your mouth closed, no matter how big your tongue is. I'm sure it's never going to be as big as Giraffe's. Because giraffes have very big tongues, right? They need big tongues so that they can get the leaves from the tops of the trees. They curl their big, long tongues around branches and pull off all of the leaves at the very, very tops of the trees. So I bet your tongue's not as long as that. So really, there's no excuse. Eating with your mouth closed and quietly is the best way to go. Namaste, my little friends. Thank you.